Okay, so we're gonna paint the um, under the sea sea turtle, right? We could put other animals on there too, but wait, cause I see people put way too many black, you know, cause we're underneath the water looking up at the turtle, right? So she's a silhouette because the sun's so bright. But if you keep putting a whole bunch of animals, the painting gets very black. So don't, don't put a whole bunch of animals on there. But we have three paintbrushes. This big one is for doing the whole background, right? Nice and big, and then she's useless. And then this big one is for doing big things, right? For, cause it's, it can hold more paint and just be more efficient than doing this all day, right? And then this little paintbrush is really good for outlining, for having a nice smooth outline and making these interesting shapes. So these are like um, coral, right? They're like wiggly worms. And then this is like seagrass. And then the ocean floor is a little bumpy, right? Not smooth. Okay. Does that make sense? Everybody got that? So it's not hard at all. So this, the, I think the hardest part is if you, um, can see the background. I put the pencil marks to try to show. Let me get close so you can see. Because the light makes you can't see that you have these pencil marks. But where would that make the center? Like down here about her leg. Right? So we're always pushing and pulling. But we don't go on top of the turtle. We stop. But we assume this is the center. So it comes down and out from this weird place. But what I see people do is we go up, 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 and then they start going uh, up, up, up. Wait, that's, no, that's not right. So we're gonna do one section at a time. So we'll do from corner to corner. Then we'll turn our painting and we'll do from corner to corner and then we'll turn our painting again, right? So that way we can always be shining up and down. So it gets that neat effect, okay? They're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to ruin it. Eh, you won't ruin it. And then I want to show you how we make these stripes. It's an idea, okay, that we get the entire background wet with white paint, and then we add blue. So here's my paper plate, and I'm just going to put some white paint on there, right? But I has to, and you can see that it's going to be shiny, so I'm going to put them in like a fan, Right, but you see that thick lump of paint I put? That's gonna be a nice shiny spot. So I don't have to make it smooth. I like it lumpy. So I get more paint. Oh, wait, there's a dry spot. So I'm trying to line them all up. So there's, let me see it shiny. Okay, if it's shiny, I know it's wet. And then I get a little tiny poke of blue. I don't wanna, I, I go poke like that. And it's just some. And then I go whoosh right across the top. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna use that blue. I do not get more blue. I'm gonna use that blue to make these stripes. But what if I scribble it like this, what color will I get? Baby blue. So I'm actually pushing and pulling my paint and rooting for white to live. Please live white. So I can't touch it too much. If I touch it twice. I get baby blue. So watch, I'm gonna pull it down. I pull the blue, I dropped it off, and then I touch it and I pull it down. Whoosh. Oh, look at the cool stripes. And then I can go, whoosh. and I pull it down. Oh wait, and then they start to straighten. And I'm getting the, and I pull the blue. I don't add blue, I'm just yanking on the blue I got. And then how many color values, and it only works because the background is completely wet with white. Look at this. It must have been dry with white. It got cool stripes there, not there. Uh, but how many color values do you need for 3D? Three, dark, medium, white, right? So dark is anywhere that is nice and blue. We let allow that. And anywhere that's medium would be baby blue. But if we get some white to live, those are the bright. Dark, medium, light. But what happens if I keep going like this? Baby blue. That is so boring. Baby blue, I don't, uh, right? Why don't I just stir it all together in my plate and make baby blue? No, I want these cool stripes and texture, right? Okay, now let me clean my paintbrush. 
And my paintbrush is going to have baby blue on it because I just dirtied it, but yours isn't. So we're going to paint from corner and it looks like a fan, right? We just, and then these are like little pieces of pie to help your brain, right? And they're, they tilt as they get near the corner, but they're straight up and down when you're in the middle. That's just how it is. Well, let's outline our turtle so she's safe using our big paintbrush. Ooh! But it will work. Watch. So this is how you outline with paint. You get a, a, a blob of paint. But as soon as your paintbrush touches the canvas, it goes bloop, and it opens like that, like a fan. But I only stare at one hair that does the outlining, right? So it would be like, I just, I just touch her shoulder. I go smash. And then I sneak up and one hair does the outlining. It's making a big fat line. But I only care about that, the one hair that touches. So let's do it together. And it's just like from fin to shoulder, right? Because it's like a fan. And so we'll just stab our white paint because we need to get a lot because we have far to go. So I just get my white paint and I go, poke! <laughs> right? You're like, oh my God, how scary! No, it's not scary. And then I go, even if you're using, I see using that sponge brush, you still just use the corner of it. So I'm gonna, I'll show you, I'll come closer. So I just land above the turtle, smash. And now I open my paintbrush, but I can see the one hair that's gonna do the outlining. Now I sneak up, ooh, I touch the Sharpie. And then, er, and then I'm never, I'm always in the, in this, in the water. So I go smash, and I let one hair touch the Sharpie push and do you wiggle your paint you never wiggle paint you push paint like a bulldozer you only wiggle because you're used to crayons and markers and colored pencils because each line drops off a teensy bit of color paint is like peanut butter you smear it on right so let me get more paint Pook. because that's all i could do and i ran out right now i'm gonna go above her head and i land smash now i can see it open I'm going to sneak down and let one hair touch her sharp And then all the way to this other. Oh, it's getting dry. Thin. Oh, I can't. Can you do that too, Daniel? Now you do it. Now you do it. After I do it, you do it. Just copy me. And then, ew, I got some on the Sharpie. Just use your finger and get it off the Sharpie so the Sharpie doesn't disappear. Oh. Right? I just got some off because I, I went too far down. But as long as I can see Sharpie a little bit, it's all I need. Because I don't want to forget the shape of the turtle. Because <laughs> I would. I don't know how to draw a turtle by myself. So if you get like, oh, I lost the Sharpie. It's like you're getting jelly off the counter whoop, with your finger. Whoop. And then it will be a, kind of a gray color. But at least it's not gone. Right? You just go, fleek. And what if you get, when we start doing the stripes of the blue and white, what if you, then you just use your finger too. As long as it's thin, the Sharpie won't go away. Sharpie is very hard to get rid of. But if we keep covering it like layer and layer and layer, we could lose it. So we just keep, okay, now we get to do the stripes, right? And it is going to be solid wet with white. And some people are going to think this is watercolor. It is not watercolor. You don't, wait, wait, we only do the top. We're only gonna do one section at a time. So we're gonna do the top and make those stripes. Then we're gonna turn it and do this turtle, half of the turtle, and then turn that part, and then turn right. So just do the top of the turtle. Top. So we can do from corner to corner. And it's solid wet with white, and then we make blue stripes, right? So if there's any thin part or part that you didn't put any paint, it's gonna look all dry and scratchy, and it's not gonna look like water. It needs to be slippery. So I stab the white like this. You guys ready? Stab! But look how we outlined our turtle, which means we have a whole two fingers of safety before we hurt the turtle, right? So I'm just gonna make stripes like this, and then it's just like I'm mowing the lawn or vacuuming or sweeping. There's no spaces between them. And look at how lumpy the paint is. Should I go back and smooth it and flatten it? 
No, those thick lumps will be bright white stripes, right? So I'm like, oh, so I don't even care if it's smooth. So I just stab. So I touch the outline of the turtle off the page, flick off the top, and then come back down. So they're all tilted in the corner, but then when I get to the middle, they're straight, and then they're tilted in that corner. And then we don't care about the pencil. It was just a guide. Paint over it. We don't care. And then how much paint should you use? A little or a lot? A lot. Look how much paint I gave you. Right? So I was like, shh, don't be scared. I just stab my white paint and then I smoosh it on. And I can go from the outline straight up, off the page, off the top, and then fall back down. Then straight up. And fall back down and then they're all overlapping so there's no dry spaces Boop. that's the middle part and then i can tell that i haven't missed any look it's shiny right is it all shiny there's no dry spots okay keep going okay. question say it again so we cover everything yeah this whole thing but with stripes right because we're, we're putting on the white is practicing for doing the blue. Does that make sense? So watch me, everybody watch. There is a solid white, solid white. The pencil has nothing to do with nothing except to show you which direction the paint strokes go. And there is no dry canvas at all for this whole top half, like a giant fan. So I touch the turtle and up, down, up. Oh, there's a dry spot right there because it's not shiny. Get it? No solid, thick, white paint. Because remember I showed you this? We need the white paint to make the blue stripes. The blue and white stripes. Okay, don't paint, do not paint the, uh, uh, um, I don't, nobody has their names on there, so I can't call you by name, but by reflection, somebody is painting just the pencil things. The pencil things have nothing, you have to paint the entire fan completely wet with white paint, no dry background at all, okay? And use... How much paint can you use where it's ridiculous? That's how much paint you use. So stab your white paint and cover it with slippery, slimy white paint. And now I have to hurry to the next step because what's happening to our paint the whole time? You have to use more paint. I'm watching you. Look, your paintbrush is a sponge. If you keep touching it, your paintbrush keeps picking it back up. It needs to be lumpy, 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 thick, 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 thick. But we have to hurry because the air is stealing the water out of this white paint. So get more paint. I know. Let's on purpose put some globs of white paint. Watch this. Because where is it most white? Closest to our turtle. So let's get a glob of white paint like this. Everybody pause and look up even if you're busy. I'm just going to, what? And go like this, near your turtle, blob, 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 plop. Why? Because every time we land on those are going to be white streaks. And I want those white streaks on purpose. Glob, glob. Oops, I got it in her face. Now, when we put our blue at the top, like a blue frame, we push and pull it, and we might grab a white blob. Streak! Nice. Okay, now we're going to get our blue, but there's white on my paintbrush. So, I'm about to make blue stripes anyway. So, I get my dark, dark blue. So, open your blue. Remember, your paintbrush keeps picking up the paint. We're trying to drop it off nice and thick. So the more you touch it, the less paint you have on your paintbrush or on your painting because your paintbrush will soak it back up. It's her job. So what, everybody pause and look up. I got my blue paint and I, one stab of blue paint is all you get. Stab! 
That is all. And I cannot go back and get more or the whole thing will turn dark blue. And where am I going to put it? Right across the top and I just wipe it off like it's a booger and I want it off my finger. And then should I get more? No. That is the paint I'm going to pull on. And then look where it's going to be darker where I landed first. Look where it's going to be lighter when I ran out. Is that okay? Yes. It's more interesting than solid blue. But if you want, you can push it there, make it more even. But I'm just saying it's awesome to be to give it permission to have variation of color. Okay, now watch this. Everybody pause and look up, right? So now I'm gonna go like this. I'm trying to hold it close so you can see. So I go, oh my god, what if I get some of this blue on my turtle? So I just go like this, right? So I go. This is the only blue I'm allowed to pull on, so I pull it down. Look at those cool streaks. What? Wait. Oh, and then I landed on a big blob of white. I don't even care. Whoosh. Oh, should I touch it twice? No. If I touch it twice, I just get baby blue. I like those stripes. And I shriek the white. Oh, I landed on a blob. I don't care. It's going to make a neat streak. <laughs> Look at those cool. And then I'm getting close to the middle. She starts to stand up straight. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's how the pencil was. Shriek. And then I can, once I land in the middle, everybody pause and look up. It's easier to, I can't tilt. My brain won't let me. But what if I, because being parallel is easier for your brain. So I pull from the corner and bump into your show. Oh, okay. What? Oh, I landed on a blob. I love that because it's going to make more streaks. <laughs> and I'm just mowing the lawn or sweeping where each line touches another line. But I never touch them twice because then it's just baby blue that's scribbling. <laughs> no, nobody cares about that. So I go, once I have my Coolio texture in stripes, who feels like it's dry? It's not working. You don't have enough white paint on there. Throw some white paint on there and do it over. I don't care. It's, it's slippery. And you get streaks. It's all, and then, because look at the edge. Do we care about this edge? No. What happens to the edge? We're going to put that stuff on it. So who cares what happens to the edge? We don't, we don't care about the top. We care about the stripes. And then we, we, as soon as we can, we stop touching. As soon as we can, I go, okay, I'm done, done. Because when, you'll be bored, and what are you going to do? Touch, 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 touch. And then it will just be baby blue. Okay, then you flip, and it doesn't matter which side. Because now it's just a bigger piece of a big piece of pie. And then where's the middle? By her leg. Oh, there's a bunch of blue on my paintbrush. Well, I'm gonna, I'm put, I need to put white on there. Keep going. What if you didn't finish? You hurry, hurry. I'm flipping because I'm watching other people. You just keep going. Remember, we got it sopping wet with white, put a blue streak across the top, and then pulled the blue streak down to make stripes. Right? If it's not wet with, who feels like you didn't put enough white? Well, how about if we just adjust? And when we do this, next section, we just put more. We don't get mad, we just do better, right? We're like, oh, okay, she was serious about putting lots of paint. Uh-huh, because it's slippery and makes better stripes. But you didn't know that. You have to trust me, okay? Now I'm gonna lick off my paintbrush so I can clean it. No, I get a paper towel. I'm gonna just put it inside there and give it a pinch and the extra comes out. The white that's in your paintbrush will squeeze out the blue. And she's most, right, I'll have a little baby blue on there, but we're adding blue anyway, right? Boop. I just squeeze it out. Okay. Who thinks it makes more sense now? What, all that I was talking about, you're like, 
What? Because how do you learn on this planet? You learn by doing. So listening to me, you're like, then once you did it, you're like, oh, the way, the, okay. So now we do this part where let's use more white paint, follow the stripes. Oh, we're going to have to get under his, his, <laughs> underneath his fin, right? But, that's, but which direction is it going, right? Easy. We'll just, we'll just decorate it when blue, with blue and we do the top, right? So I'm going to, how much white? What? Okay. So I stab my white. And I just go, uh, from the corner to, oh, no. I have to outline the turtle to protect my turtle. So how do we outline? Oh, it's going to be her tail, right? So I go, oh, I smash my paintbrush, smash, sneak up, let one. What if you cover up her little tail? It's a teeny tiny V, so don't think you're going to ruin it. You could draw a V. For a tail smash, one hair touching, whoop. Now I'm gonna have to go under her fin, la la la. So how do you get inside tiny areas with a big paintbrush? Don't push as hard and she won't open as big, right? So I'm gonna sneak it up, smush. Smush my paintbrush, okay. I almost skipped a step, what? Isn't there always a bossy kid in every class that helps the teacher and says, you missed a step. <laughs> Where's bossy? No boo bossy in here? Oh yeah, you guys are muted. <laughs> bossy always speaks up, right? They're not bossy. They're leaders. Okay, and then go, oh, I got some on my Sharpie. Let me. I just, see, I just wiped my fingers on my apron. You have no idea how many times I have peanut butter or some kitchen goo and I wipe my, my hand on my shirt because I think I'm wearing my apron. <sighs> okay, now I outlined it. Now right, fill it all in. And who's going to use more paint this time? Right? So I stab my white paint for reals. And then I just put them in. Oh, they oh, lumpy. Look at the lumps. Those are going to be shiny. Those are gonna be my white streaks. <laughs> so should it be dry anywhere? No, all shiny. But they're they're diagonal in the corner. Then when I end up in the middle, they're straight. So stab my white. The smooch. And you're peanut buttered on like frosting. Who cares? Cause it's all about the texture. When we go to put our blue on there. Okay, I got to the middle, so now they're straight. This is when I get nervous because I tilt and then they keep tilting even though I'm in the middle. Oh, my brain will not switch. So then I like to come to the corner and just leap, go to the corner back to the middle again. I don't know. It's just easier for me. Like leaning is easier for me. And try to, try to put lumps of paint on there. I know you guys are smoothing like it's a wall. Is it a wall? No. It's not. We don't care if it's the thickest, lumpiest, most sloppy white ever. Because all the decorating happens with the blue anyway. And then it's straight up and down in the middly part. Like a fan. Look at my lumps. My lips are going to shine. So should it be true? Who feels like they're putting more paint this time? Are you being more generous? Not being so delicate? Slop it on. Paint a lot more. Lot more. Woo! Like that. Like you don't even care. I'm going to throw the paint on there. I don't care. Like that. So who keeps going back over it and touching it, trying to smooth it out? That is wrong. How come your paintbrush is picking up the paint and taking it back off? She's a sponge. If I keep smoothing it, I'm actually putting less paint on there and it will evaporate and get all dry again. Ugh, right? Now, how about those lumps? Who thought those lumps was a good idea because it made the white streaks? Right? So I'm going to get my white paint and get a disgusting scoop, like a spoonful scoop. And then I'm going to drop it off near my turtle 
Who cares where near the turtle? Just so we can land on them? So it's brighter near the turtle? Blob! Blob. Little Hershey kisses. I'm going to put extra this time. I wish I put more last time. Blob. And under her arm. I mean her fin. Blob, 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 blob. <laughs> those are going to be very bright. Look at how, look how lumpy those globs are. Because when I land on them, it makes a white streak. Who's afraid of touching their turtle? What if I get some blue on my turtle? So, if I get it on my turtle, I just all I care about is my Sharpie. So don't be afraid of touching your turtle. Oh, I just got white paint on my neck. Yes, I'm not afraid of it because then we're gonna end up coloring it black. Right? Yeah. So, but I will want to lose my Sharpie. Look what I did on my neck. See, nobody laugh. I'm going to go to the grocery store after this and forget that I did that. Okay. Okay, now, where's my blue? Now we decorate. So I stab my blue. Stab! Maybe stab harder this time. This is a longer line. You know what I mean? I'm going to stab harder. <gasps> okay, I, I, what? I don't care. I just wipe it across the top like it's a boogie. What? What? Okay. What? Get off my paintbrush. <laughs> and now what do we do? You already know what's going to happen. You already know. So don't be scared. You proved you can do this. So I go, oh, for, and remember it's from the corner until we get straight. And then go back to the corner and pull down till it's straight. It's just a better trick. So I go, whoosh. Ooh, ooh, and then I hit it. Oh, I got some on my turtle. Should I care? No. Why? Just to, for the Sharpie. Right? Pull down that. Oh, I landed that white blob. <laughs> I'm going to make a streak. Whoosh. <gasps> Look at the stripes. I'm, oh, I touched it twice. I made baby blue. Oh, well. My next one will be better. Whoosh. Whoosh. And this paint is going to darken when it dries because white paint is basically Elmer's glue. For reals. It's Elmer's glue and turns clear like, like Elmer's glue. So you're like, oh, mine is too light. As soon as it dries, the Elmer's glue part of the white disappears and the paint gets darker. So watch me. Now I'm in the middle. So I'm straight up and down in the middle. Okay, stop. Then go to the other corner and pull. Whoop. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to go under her fin. Aw, oh, great. I raised her, I, I gotta get it off. That's okay, there. And then, oh, pull, pull. And every time I pick up a glob of white, oh shoot, I just got it on my fin. I'm gonna have to do the thing again. There. As long as I see the Sharpie a little, I'm safe. So there, as soon as you get to the middle, you stop and then start again in the corner. It's just easier. And then do we care about the top? It could be as ugly as anything because we end up putting the black frame around it, right? And then it's straight up and down in the middle. They tilt, 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 stop. Or who feels like they didn't get enough blue? You want to put more? You go right ahead. Do you want yours to be baby blue? That's totally fine. What yours should not look like mine. Yours should be like a version of yours. And now, oh, I'm going to turn mine. Turning, turning. And I got to clean my paintbrush because I am going to put blue, but I just want to start with white. So I just give it a little squeeze. Just pinch out that extra. Whoop, peach. There. No, up. Whoa, I just slimed myself again. Paint. Remember, it's going to darken. Look at what I originally put on there on the bottom. It's already darkening because the white part of the paint is turning clear like Elmer's glue. Okay, now, okay, we did two sides. Who thinks this is going to be easier now? How come? Because your brain already knows how to do it. We already did it twice, right? So you go, oh, okay. So I get it sopping wet with white, no dry spots, lots of white paint, and put the blue thing. 
Yes. What you remember when I was talking about when we started and you were like, what? And now you're like, I'm an expert. So I stab my white paint. And how much white paint do I want? A lot. Oh, I can't tell. Look, that's, that, is that enough paint? Uh, no. Doesn't even come. That, no. Stab. Go. And then, now we can go a little faster, because how fast does your white paint dry? Super fast. Why? Because... Once we flatten it out, the air can start stealing the water from it really easy. Stab my white paint. Oh, we did an outline turtle. Where's my, where's my leader in the group who always tells me I missed a step? Outline my turtle. Stab. Okay. <laughs> All right. Stab. And then sloppy, sloppy, lots of white foot. But put how we put it on matters less because when does the decorating actually happen? With the blue. So getting it wet with the white is really just, and I want to check and make sure, oh my, I, look, you can't see, but I have tons of missing spots. I looked in the light and there's dry spots. Psh, let me get that. Get it, get it, get it. It's because I did it fast that time. Because I was overconfident. Get it, get it, get it. Okay. Okay. But look at I mean, it's all ugly. I don't care. Because where does the decorating happen? When I put the blue on. Who's ready for blue? Right? So watch me. I'm going to stab the blue and put it across. But when I pull, I always pull from the sides down, from the corners, and I pull down. Oh, I forgot the white globs. I need my white globs. Scoop. Blah, 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 blah. Because I might land on them. Okay, now I, get, now I can push and pull. And then once I get to the middle, I always stop. And then I go back to the other corner because it's easier for my brain. Because it's straight when you end up in the middle, but you have to tilt. It's just tricky. Oh, I got some on my on my turtle. Finger, finger swipe. There, as long as I can see the Sharpie a teensy bit, I'm good. I'm golden. Who feels like that one was way easier? How come? And our brain has gone, okay, lady. Now I know what you mean. But you don't know until you've done it. So how do you learn on this planet? By doing. When the teacher shows you math, did you actually learn math? No. When do you actually learn the math? When you do it. When you do it. When you do it. So you're like, Blah, 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 blah. She's just talking and showing, right? And you're like, no, no, no. As soon as you do it, then you learned it because you own it. And then it makes sense. So even before you start your homework, you're all mad because you don't understand it yet. Then you start doing the homework. And after like a couple, then you're like, oh, now I get it because I'm doing it. Right? So they're tilted in the corners, and I pull from the corners until I'm standing up straight in the middle. And I pull down on that blue stripe. Whoosh. And then, who's ready to flip? Boom. Who thinks this is going to be the easiest and the fastest? Boom, boom, boom. Super easy, easy. Right? Mm -hmm. I know, because we've done it three times. The first one is our ugliest. Because it's our first. Because learning curve. So I clean, I pinch my paintbrush pinch. Because I want to start with white. It wouldn't matter if there was blue in there. Because, you know. And then I get my white. Oh, outline my turtle. See? You thought I was going to forget again. So it's her head. And her fin. Under her. Okay. 
Mostly, when you outline something, your brain is less likely to let you uh, ruin it. Your brain will come to a stop if you outline something. I don't know. It's a brain thing. Okay, now I could put those stripes from the corner to my turtle. And I'm more, who feels like you're confident with how much paint to get now? Because you saw, you made an adjustment. Oh, this wasn't enough paint. So then the next time when you put more paint, your brain went, yep. So the only way to learn is by doing and making an adjustment. Like, oh, oh, not quite yet. Nope. So this is earth. It's like a setup. This is the only way you learn here. It's like, oh, yeah. Smash, 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 smash. And I'm less carry about dropping off the white paint because I know the actual good decorating happens right when I put the blue on. I just want to check it for shiny to make sure. Oh. Why is it that? Okay. And then my beautiful blobules of white so I can get streaks. Right? So I get a, a scoop of white and put my little per my globs because they're going to make white streaks right near my turtle. Ding, 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 ding. Because when I hit those, shine. all about the texture right baby blue is easy is this is a texture thing right so now I'm gonna stab oh this isn't as big this is the big side right so I need more blue than when I did the short side so I'm gonna stab hard with my blue Ooh! okay now I can go whoosh whoosh and then why are we in a hurry when we start painting it's trying to dry and it's gonna ruin it. it's gonna be all scratchy so I go, oh yeah, go. From the corner, out. From the corner, whoop, whoop, whoop. Pull down, down, down. Oh, I hit a white spot. Uh-oh. Covered up my Sharpie. Stop. Fixie. Okay. Whoosh. See how you don't need my help no more? You're just doing it. You don't need my help. Winter teachers, use, teachers are only useful while you don't know. Then they're useless once you know, right? Stop talking, lady. I already got it. Oops. Got it on the fin. Swipe. My finger. Okay. I got some paints on my um, arm and then like... Um, yeah, it... It'll come off with water. You just when you get it wet, it will just cut, scratch off like Elmer's glue, right? So don't worry about it being on you. It comes off. And then once we've done a side, you can't go back and visit it. Because you'll just be paint look it's all this this first side that we did, it's all it's all dry. For me, right? So can I go back and start decorating it? No, look what it's doing. It's all dry. I can't paint over it. Oh, it was all dry, so the texture's all wrong. Ooh. Let me see if I can fix it just a little, just right now. Ooh. I, t I, I overlapped them. And then when I'm done, I can stand it up straight. Whoops, I was touching again. And then when it dries, how many color values are we rooting for? Three, dark, medium, light. And then you're like, especially when it dries, when the white paint turns clear like Elmer's glue, the blue gets darker. So I'm like, do I have dark blue parts, medium blue parts, and baby blue parts, and even some white streaks? 3D. 
If I just went like this, <laughs> baby blue, snoreboard, I like the variations of color. And then, let me tell you this trick. So, I got glitter glue, and I after my whole painting was dry, clean paintbrush, glitter glue. So, here's my painting, right? Look, can you see the glitter on there? Right, look at, it's glitter glue. Yeah. Oh, right. But I did that after my whole painting was dry. Otherwise, you smear the paint. But that was just for fun because I was like, you know what would be cute on this? It's some glitter. So I tried it. Some glitter glue. And then it goes on white, the glitter glue, right? But then it dries with just glitter showing. So fun. So now I have this big paintbrush. I don't need to clean it out or nothing because it was only for the back. Oh, no. We use this. For the, for the um, pot, so i got to clean it. But I am done with white and blue, so I could put the lids on. Because the whole rest of the paint, painting is black. And we like that because it's high contrast. What, uh, black against anything is high drama. Right? But too much black changes the mood of the painting. So we want to keep our, our background short. Don't go climbing all, all over your blue paint background because the painting gets darker and darker. So we keep our, our little coral reef and our seagrass short so that the painting doesn't get too dark. Does that make sense? So like, oh, I'm going to make a giant coral. We just covered it with black, right? So just be, keep, keep that in mind when you're doing your, we want short little frames around the edges. Short, short, short is nice. So who's ready? Me, me, me. 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 And then what, while we're painting, this will start drying and getting darker and darker. So fun. Okay, so I got my black paint. Black. What paintbrush are we going to be using? Big paintbrush. Let's just put the little frame around it, right? But look, it's only one finger big. It's tiny. It's really short. And then let's use our paintbrush to make uh, the tinier paintbrush to make the bumps. Let's just make a black, a little black frame around the bottom. One paintbrush thick. Okay. So we just get our black poke. And it might turn gray because it hits some white. So. And I'm just like, oh, you mean like one little black stripe across the bottom? Yeah, we'll make the bumps. We'll just make this solid. And the bumps we'll do with the little paintbrush. So who cares about the top already? Well, so it's made out of rocks and stuff. And then I could flip it. You can paint it, you know, like this if you want. But I always, I just have a habit of always turning it. So I could always paint the bottom. And it's one paintbrush big. And if it turns kind of gray, it adds 3DE. Right? It's just a little softer, the black. And then I flip. That's one paintbrush big, just a little stripe. Oh, that side was really wet with white still. I got, I picked up a whole bunch of white on that pass. I'm going to clean this white off my paintbrush because my paintbrush scratched the white off. And then put more black on. So it'll be more of a black color. That side was sopping wet. It must have been the last side that I did and hadn't dried it off. Poke. Watch. See? I scratched the white off my first pass. And now with brand new clean black, it will paint over it black. That's better. But it can be a little bit gray, but I must have hit a white blob. <laughs> and then flip. And it's only one, one paintbrush big. It's like a finger thick. 
We'll add more bumps and decorations with the Luler paintbrush. We don't want to waste all our black on you know, stupid black frame. It's just a swipe, 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 swipe. And then remember how I said we didn't care about the edges? Doesn't the edges already look better? Because they were all like lumpy. They're like, yeah, but we get rid of them. So who cares? I'm done. Boom. Done. Because it's a race. So you get first prize. No, I was done first. So I win. So you're jealous of me. I'm done. Okay, you're in third place then. I'm done. Oh, fourth place. You guys don't have to tell me. I'm just playing with you. I'm done. Good place. <laughs> nice. Okay, now we're going to make coral. Right? So I have to show you coral because it's an idea. Right? It's a weird idea, coral. So I, I'll show you these. Right? Let me show you these. There. And they're two of them are tilted because like a wave hit it. Right? And you're like, I can't draw that. That looks good. Yeah, but I didn't explain it. It's super easy. I'll show you. Okay, so here's a, just a sit right plate. But I get, and I'm going to use Itty Bitty Baby Paintbrush. Just little, right? And she's so little, she can't pick up very much paint. So even if you went stab in the black, she won't pick up very much paint. So you don't have to be delicate and go like speck with the black paint. You can go stab right? So it goes like this. So all plants do this except for, so don't try them yet. Watch me first. So they're made out of wiggly worms, coral, right? They're not straight. Straight would be seagrass, right? So I stab the black and I go like this and I go wiggly worm, right? Wiggly worm. And then I climb the wiggly worm. I put more wiggly worms on them as branches and I go to the right. Then I go a little higher to the left. Then a little higher to the right. Then a little higher to the left. I'm climbing. But they can never touch each other at the base. That will make a V. And it looks bad. Right? So watch me. So I'm going to put one sticking out the bottom. I'm a wiggly worm friend. Okay? And then I go a little higher to the left. I am a wiggly worm friend. Okay, and then I go a little higher to the right again. I'm a wig, and then a little higher to the left. Wait, right? Well, those are branches. Can those branches have twigs? Yes, I can go even tinier, but I have to look at it. I can't. Just, I have to look at it. So I can go to the right. To, I just do it softer. If you want your paintbrush smaller, you do it softer. And I go to the right, to the left, to the right. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the left. And I always go a little higher. They can never touch at their base. They make a V. So I go to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. I climb it like little. Oh, what if I want to put another one? Oh, then I give a wiggly worm to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. And then those get little twigs to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. What? It's like a pattern. Yes. Okay. And then there's also seagrass, but she's really easy. You flick up for seagrass so they have pointy tops. Up, 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 up. Let me show you what happens when you pull down. Smash down. What is that? Your paintbrush opens when you pull down. So you only flick up and then they'll be pointy. As soon as you I pulled... My, my blue and white are too thick uh, on the background. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. You just go right on top. The bl the black can, is so dark, it can cover up anything. Okay? okay? So you just flick up, 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 and then you'll forget one time and try to go down, and it'll be all fat like that. And you'll be like, oh, that's the thing she said. Just make a wiggly worm thing out of it. Right? So let's try one. Right? Oh, and uh, my other boring bottom... I'm going to put some rocks and stuff, a rock and a rock and a rock 
and a little something something not very big just so it's not so perfect it's, the bottom of the ocean isn't perfectly st there i just made some uglies right little bumps but watch out for doing this watch that everybody pause and look up i'm a wave and they all match and they're the same size no big rock little rock tiny rock itty bitty baby rock. just break it up so it's not matchy matchy i've seen that where it looks like this like what is that supposed to be bumps matching bumps and then and then i'm gonna make a wiggly worm thing so i just pick a spot how short keep them short or the whole painting turns black, right? So I just go, okay. And oh yeah, look at me. I'm holding my paintbrush kind of upside down. I'm pulling on my paintbrush. It just helps if I hold it straight ahead, my paintbrush pushes too hard and opens too big. So I kind of hold it upside down so I can pull on it. Does that make sense? So I go wiggly worm. Then a wiggly worm and a wiggly worm and I climb it and then those wiggly worms get little wiggly worms but they never touch I always have to go a little bit higher a little bit higher a little bit higher then I do it as the softer I do it I literally can't feel it I'm just watching it happen that's how soft I'm doing it the softer you are the smaller your paintbrush you can't open the harder you push the more she opens See, and the problem is I will make that exact same pattern too many times. I'll make it exactly the same. So on purpose, I will try to make a crazy piece so all my curls don't match because <laughs> I do that. I don't know why. Ew, look what I did. I just made that V thing that I said not to do. The <sighs> It doesn't look as natural when you make V's because they're touching at the base. They're never supposed to touch. Twigs are as scared of each other. Don't touch me. And how, how many corals are you going to have to make until they make sense and they're pretty and you like them? I don't know, like three of them. So just make some ugly. Just make them. Like this is ugly. Well, it's your first one. So... I give myself permission to make ugly because my third one will rock. Oh yeah, and don't make your corals exactly the same width apart. I also do that. Watch this. This is me. Two fingers apart, two fingers apart, two fingers apart, two fingers apart. I don't know why, but I think it's because when we make our alphabet and our numbers, they have to be perfectly spaced apart. I think our brain is just really trained. So try to make some of them touch. Some of them are closer together, farther away. No matchy matchy. Okay, that one didn't come out very cute for me. That one's an F. For me I'm gonna make my next one I'm not gonna get mad but I'm gonna do better on my next one cuz I don't like that one I do my next one will be cuter so wiggly worm wiggly worm wiggly worm and then those are, then my wiggly worms get wiggly worms okay okay that makes more sense that was that was better <laughs> Wow, look how soft I did. I, I'm, that is delicate. I did, I was usually, I usually smash my paintbrush, but that's very soft for me. Uh-oh, every look, look what I did. That one and that one is literally matching. There, I like followed the same pattern. I need to break them up. That, those, that's, let me try this. I'll give this one a, another branch. There. That, that way she doesn't match because I made them exactly the same. Okay, there. <gasps> there. They don't match now. I just tried to make it different. And then how short am I keeping them? Short because I like the blue background. I don't want to cover it with coral. I keep them short, short, short. Okay, I don't know what I just made here. You know what these kind of remind me of? Remember in um, 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 
Ariel with oh Little Mermaid, and then when the sea pe the mer, mer people got captured and they were like those worms, they like oh they remind me of those poor wiggly worm people. Okay, I did, who's put some seagrass? Seagrass? Up, Me. up. There's, seagrass is a thousand times easier, so if you're like, these no. corals are taking too long. My coral is um, very bad. So it's just a plant. We don't know what it really is. It's some other plant in the ocean. I don't know. And then, ooh, what if I made it super tiny? Seagrass would be like a sea anemone. I, I made a baby one, a little sea anemone. Flick, 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 flick. Oh, cute. Grass, 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 grass. Up, 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 up. And they can, can, do they have to be, does my grass have to be perfectly straight? No? What if they all bend the same way? A wave hit it, right? And then I like to tilt it like this and go make some little bumpy rocks. Rock, rock. Another rock. And I'm keeping my coral short because I like the blue background, not so the whole painting doesn't become black. I say that a lot, right? Because the black is a little harsh. So I just keep my coral short. And I don't want to end up touching my turtle with coral. She'll get scratched and she'll cry. Have you guys ever stepped on coral? I went to Hawaii and you know how they have those water shoes? I did not bring my water shoes, so I kept scratching my foot on the coral bottom. I've never seen a real coral. coral. It's uh huh, it's uh it's these teeny tiny um um shell animals that attach to each other. So they're very sharp because they still yeah. keep their mouth open, which is very sharp. And so you step on them, you're like you think it's a rock, it's not a rock. I was like, ah! Didn't know. <laughs> I've been to Hawaii one time. I I have never been to the beach, but I have, I mean, to the ocean, but I have went to the beach a lot. Yeah. Uh, I also like the river. I think I've seen coral before, but I have never touched it. I'm throwing on some grass real fast. You know why? Because it's easier than coral. <laughs> and then I'm going to fill the the grass space, the space of the coral. Okay, wiggly worm, wiggly worm, wiggly worm. And then how many kinds of corals are there? As many kinds of corals, uh, plants as there is. They come in every color, every shape. Every size? Yes. Sometimes they can become huge mountains underneath the ocean, or they're these pretty, they're these little round little things that are just round like that. I don't know. So they're just, you know, God's creative. He makes all kinds of whatnots. So if he, if, you know, it's like one of these, one of these, another kind, another kind. I don't know. So will you say, oh, but mine doesn't match hers. So it's a different kind. So there. You didn't draw the kind that I drew. You drew a different kind. Wiggly worm, wiggly worm. I'm not putting enough branches, interesting branches. I keep doing the same pattern over and over. If I just put longer branches on some of these, it would break the pattern there. I'm making them match. I don't like it. I want them to be, each one be unique. But, but my, what does your brain like to do? Pattern. It's our school training. But you know, when they look in satellite pictures to find other civilizations and they look down from the satellite, if they find anything evenly spaced apart, they know humans were there. We do that, not animals. So they're like, look at those rocks are evenly spaced apart. And then they go there and they're old buildings, old stone buildings. And they're like, oh. Because nature wouldn't put rocks evenly spaced apart. <laughs> Why would she bother? That's what humans do. Do you guys like to be organized? Right? And you go and organize yeah. something. Yeah. It's so peaceful to organize. I don't know. And then just when I'm in the mood though. And then I like everything like the same sizes together. The same colors together. Pattern. 
It's my human brain trying to, you know, control my environment. But it, I don't know, it makes me feel calm to have it organized. I have control over something, I guess. Because everything else is wackadoo. Wiggly worms. I like the wiggly worm part. And I can tell when I'm in a sad mood because I'm not organized. <laughs> right? Because I'm like, I like, get it. I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to bother. And I can tell, I can look around my room and go, oh, I'm in a mood. <laughs> I'm not stopping to do that calm organizing thing because I'm irritated about something. <laughs> okay. I, I did two sides. Who's beating me? What? I one side. Jennifer, you are like, what? You're like almost done. But you... Remember, do we have to, can we do this uh, two hours from now when Zoom is over? Yes, don't rush. You can do this all day and tomorrow if you want. Who cares? But I now, I'm on, I flipped, so now I can make some rocks so that my, the top of my, the floor of my ocean is not so ugly and so flat. Just a few little bumps. There. Bump, bump, bump. Woo! There. Cute. And then I always check to make sure, because look what I just did. <laughs> look at, did I just do matching waves like I said not to? Dink, dink, dink. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Okay, let me try break, like, like literally, I'll try making little tiny baby rocks here and there. Okay, rip, rip, okay, there. I ruined the pattern. <sighs> Irritating. Human brain. You know, it's your parents' fault because they were human. So, they gave you a human brain. So, your brain likes patterns. You could be like, Thanks, Mom. You had to make me human. Couldn't be all something more interesting. See, look at what I did. I just flicked straight lines instead of making wiggly worms. Those look like thorns. Ah, I'm going to fix. I'm going to go back. This was supposed to be wiggly worms on top of wiggly worms. And I flicked. Then they're straight and they look sharp. They're supposed to be wig. Oh, I'm gonna fix it. Wig wiggly worm has a wiggly worm there. It's more natural looking. I'm making thorns, and then my poor my my animals are all gonna get poked. There. See, isn't that better? I I changed the flicks to wiggly worms. Now now it's more corally. I got lazy. See, that one looks like it's covered in thorns. I'm going to go back and fix that one. I don't like it. I'm, I'm, I'm going too fast. I'm going to change it. Wiggly worm. Wiggly. Not flick. There. Oh, cuter. Ring. You're jealous of me now. Okay. Flick, 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 flick. Wiggly worm. Who feels it's better when there's more paint on your paintbrush? It's smoother and slipperier, huh? When you run out of paint, it's like cho chalky. Yeah. Like, I keep just stabbing my paint and letting it have plenty of paint, and then it's more smooth. Because I just did one dry, and I hate it, and I realize, no, it's, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm skipping my own tricks. I know the tricks. Why aren't I doing this? I'm making a humongous coral. This one's humongous. I'm trying to keep her short, but I'm making her really wide. Okay, now I have to put more wiggly worms on it. How fast did 
you learn that uh, the coral? Did you have one ugly one and the rest can make complete sense to your brain? That's what a good brain you have. That's how fast you learn stuff. Somebody shows you something one time and you immediately get it. Yeah. I know. Because that's how you roll. I think the um, um, ocean grass is way easier. So easy, right? You just flick up, 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 easy. And then, yeah. cause, and then it saves time too because... Because, and it breaks up the pattern. Too many corals looks a little boring. So, breaking it up with some grass peat. And do the grasses have to all be short or all straight? Can they can they lean one way and be, like, hit with a wave? That's fun. Yeah. I'll show you. Watch. This is a this is one hit. So, you bend, bend, bend. Oh, she got hit with a wave. Woo, woo, woo. Boom. Right? Yeah. Right? And all I did was bend them all over. Like a half a parenthesis. Just to break it up so they're not all matchy matchy. Right? So now that your background is drying, what do you think? You're getting super darks and whites and variations of color, and it's more interesting. So the, the white gel is turning clear like Elmer's glue and your background is darkening. You thought, hers is way darker than now. And you're like, nice. Because that's what I meant it to do. But you didn't know that about paint. I knew that about paint because I've done it before. So if I can go faster than you, does it make me better than you? No. If I've done it before, it makes me fast. Right? I've done, I've done it before. And it's like, oh, she already knows how to do that because it's a skill. Once you do something, you know how. So do you guys know the difference between skill and talent? Skill is something everyone can learn with practice. Talent is something that, uh, that only a few people can do. I feel that way about math. I feel like math is a talent. Like everyone can do basic math, but then there's the, the people who can do like fancy math computer math and then they have a talent in their brain that's unique just to them and like I'm like what and then they probably look at my art and then they go what right because they can't do art because their brain would be like no way that's not straight So is cooking an art or a skill? Both. So the skill is to be able to cook, right? To be a chef is to make something no one's ever seen before out of those skills. Like when you watch on the, on the cooking channel and you're like, how did they do that? I can make a chicken, but what they made was like, what? Like, I don't know if you guys know about welding, but welding is like a, it's literally like a giant glue gun. It's the heat plus the metal, and then you just go squeeze, and it makes like a glue gun. Super easy. But they make like 125000 a year, but they have to do it for five years with a helper before they're allowed to do it on their own. So you're like, well, is that a skill or an art? It starts off a skill, but then it becomes an art because so few people know how to do it. It becomes rare and special. So who can weld under, under the water? There are people that can do that. Well, they're not regular people. They have this special, special skills. Those are talents. And another thing, if you can tell it's a talent, is you lose track of time. While you're busy, busy doing the thing, five hours go by and you forgot to eat. You're in the zone and it's, it's unique just to you and it makes you calm. And you're like, that is a talent. Yeah, I'm in after school, um, thank you a lot and like, it makes me calm and Yes. 
like something happens to your brain, it turns to the relax mode. Okay, I, I'm gonna go back because just seeing these corals upside down, look how it looks like somebody trimmed them with scissors and they're the, all the same length. I'm gonna go and make some of them a little different. Oh, and they're all evenly spaced apart. And I tried to tell myself not to. Let me make some of them longer. Just one or two. Just break the pattern up a, a little. There. No, I just did the exact same thing. I just made them the same. <laughs> this is hard. Because I, my brain wants to do one thing and... I went around all the way. Anyone else me beat too. me? What? Psh. Okay, everybody pause and look up. Everybody pause. Let me show you uh, real quick how to do your turtle. Real fast, because some people are ready. So how do you outline with paint? We already did it. So, but I'm gonna land inside my turtle, smash. Then sneak up and let one hair, and I push my paint. I do not wiggle because I don't want a furry turtle. I push my paint, and one hair touches the Sharpie. But I know her whole body is going to be black, so I land in the turtle, smash, and sneak up, right? So I stay inside the turtle at all times. And more paint is easier because it's smoother and slipperier. And then her tail did get covered up, but it's just a little V. And then, what's this paintbrush for? <laughs> the, uh, the little square one? You don't have to use it, but it's just more efficient to paint in the turtle. That's the only reason I gave it to you. But look, if I use the little paintbrush and I paint with the side of the paintbrush, it works just as good. So I don't really know why I gave you that other paintbrush. I'm just using the side and peanut buttering it on. So you have an extra paintbrush for whatever. I don't know when I was planning it in my head, it seemed important at the time. <laughs> but what's most important is a perfect outline. Cause it's super easy to fill in. But if I have a nice smooth outline, because remember, if you outline something, your brain won't let you leave the outline, right? So don't fill it in. Out, perfectly outline it first. Your, your brain will create a barrier and won't let you go outside the line. If you try to fill it in, you'll jump out and make it, make it look like your turtle has something sticking out of her body. And you push your paint. Yep. Push. push nice and smooth remember if you're still doing coral it so however whatever all day every day painting decorating it's all good who you know there's two kinds of people in every classroom there's the people that get done first but they always get in trouble because they get bored and they start talking right? And then there's the people who never have enough time. So they're all under anxiety trying to hurry because class is about to end. So both of those people, uh, I wouldn't, if you're the, you, I wouldn't want the other person's anxiety, like sitting there bored, trying not to talk is terrible. And trying to hurry and finish is also terrible. So whichever one you are, just be glad you're not the other guy. The turtle hits hard because I painted over it and, I, and, and I, I just know she's an oval. Whee. No, it's actually parentheses, parentheses because her mouth isn't rounded because they have beaks. So it's actually more shaped like parentheses, parentheses. I'm making her neck thicker. 
Oh well. Boop. Don't care. I don't I never met this turtle. I don't know if it, if that's how she is. Okay, now they have a good outline. Easy to fill in. Scribbly get us a huge scoop of black paint and then just shove, 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 shove. Okay, let me tell you something weird about black paint. As soon as you paint your turtle black, you're going to think you did such a good job. And then the black paint's going to dry and you're going to be like, I can see the white through the black paint. Just put two coats on. Because black paint is actually a see-through color. You wouldn't think so. Because she can change other colors so easy. But if you don't put it on thick enough, it's kind of see-through. So be like, fine, I'll just paint the whole thing black and go back and do two layers. So, like how many times do you paint a turtle in your life? Just enjoy the process. Paint it twice, whatever. I draw, but I don't paint as much. Well, when you switch to, do you use color? Like color pencils and stuff? Learning to highlight and shadow and stuff. Because I, I noticed when I was, like you have to go to museums and stuff when you take art classes. Well, there are no pencil drawings or pen drawings hanging on the walls, right? Because humans are attracted to color. So the sooner you can start learning color and how to blend and how to make highlights and shadows, people go, ooh, and they stare all excited, right? So I, once I learned that, I, I'm like, oh, who cares if you can draw? It's the coloring that make people excited. Oh, drawing is the shape, right? So coloring is what makes people walk from across the room over to your picture so they can look at it. Okay, I painted my turtle once and I could just like look at it now that it's not in the shiny light and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's completely see-through. Yeah, I'm going to have this in my room. Huh? I'm going to have this in my room. Oh. No, my, my grandma next to the Christmas movie did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm having this stuff. Okay, I have to paint mine twice. I thought I was going to be special, and I wasn't going to have to paint it twice. But it's black paint, so I'm painting it one more time. I literally have to start over and paint over what I did. But I don't have to redo all the outline, because you put that on so nice and thick, right? It's just these middly parts. And I'm not using the tip of my paintbrush. I'm definitely using the side of my paintbrush to smooth it on, butter it on. Peanut butter. Like the side of a knife, not the tip of the knife. So I'm kind of holding my paintbrush like a magic wand so I can use the side of it. So I can smooth the paint on thicker. Okay, I can see right through it. It's so irritating. I thought I did a good job. Whatever. So can I pause you and show you other tricks real quick? Because everybody's at a different spot. So everybody pause, even though you're busy. Right? I just want to, who wants to see jellyfish? There's no jellyfish in this one. I don't put jellyfish on purpose because people will cover their whole picture with a million jellyfish because they're fun. Don't do that. One or two. Because turtles eat jellyfish, right? That's why they always eat plastic bags and then die. I know. So watch me. So it's a rainbow. The rainbow. Tiny little rainbow with wiggly worms. Jellyfish. You can make her a little bit like a rainbow. I'm a rainbow. Wiggly worms. And then all my wiggly worms are the same length? No. Jellyfish have long. Oh, right? That's cute. And then everybody pause. Let me show you fish. Fish is a V, right? I'm a V with a little parentheses. I want to see that again. And I don't like how that one turned out. I'm going to fix it again. It looks like an arrow. I'm going to put more fat on her. 
She's a little bit thicker there. And she comes to a tiny point. And we're looking at them from a, from underneath, right? So we can't see their tail shaped like a, you know, a mermaid's tail. No, we're looking up at her. So we're seeing across her body, the fish's body. So it's just the head, the side wings, right? So it's like an arrow with a little point, like an ice cream cone thing. Do I want a whole bunch of fish? No. How many fish? I don't know, just a few. Because my paintings already feel like it's getting really black. So I just want a few decorating things. Too many is like, what? Calm down. And then how big are my animals? Not very big because I, I don't want my whole background to be black. So just uh, keep them small. Maybe like two, one of each kind. And then and here's another arrow, right? I'm gonna make another fish. Does everyone wanna see? So it's an, it starts off as an arrow, but with a bended a bend. And then you just make her body a little fatter. That's all. There, fish. And then one more, one more jellyfish. I think she's chasing it, so I'm gonna put it right here. Who and wiggly worm. And how how skinny do I want my my tentac my um what are these things called? Not her tentacles. The jellyfish has um I forget what the things are called. They hang down, but they're long and skinny, so I don't push hard with my paintbrush. I do it as soft as humanly possible. So they're skinny, delicate. I can barely feel it. I'm doing it so soft. Oh, soft, soft, soft. Okay. Who thinks this is coming out better than you thought it was? Me. Remember when you saw the painting and you were like, yeah, right, lady. Like, I can paint that. No. Well, because you never done it before. And then now that you've done it, if we painted this one more time tomorrow, how easy would it be? It'd be so easy, it'd be boring. Right? So you're like, oh, the most happy your brain is, is when it's challenged and it's hard. Because, when I saw, if, right? What? When, when I saw the picture that you showed us at first, I thought I was going to, like, I was, I wasn't going to be able to do it. Right. It looks so, it looks so right. helpful. I'm you're like, good, uh, like but, that. Yes, but that's how earth is. It's like, oh, there is no way. Well, we didn't do the whole background, did we? We did a tiny section for understanding. Then once our brain went, oh, then you do the next part, the next part. It's not like you yeah. try to do everything at once and freak yourself out. You just do something tiny and they're like, okay, I think I get that. But when did you learn it? When I described it or when you did it? Yeah, we did it. Because Earth, it's a big setup. You think, oh, I can't learn how to do that. Science is so hard. Well, you have to do it until you understand it. Too bad. If you wanted it easier, you should have picked a different planet. This is the learning planet, right? It's hard here. Can you ever want to be mm -hmm. other animals like um, seahorses? Like bees, do bees learn how to be a bee? No. Do dogs learn how to be a dog? Yes. Mm -hmm. They're higher mm -hmm. than a bee. Mm -hmm. Right, they can learn. Can bees learn? Actually, I have seen bees learn. But it's the lower down you go, they can't learn. So they just are born and they know. It's called instinct, right? We don't get any of that. Every single thing we know how to do, we had to learn it. What if you would like to learn how to control your anger? What are you going to need a lot of? People to make you angry. So you thank your siblings because nobody makes you more mad than your siblings, right? <laughs> right? So you're like, oh, thank you so much for letting me practice my anger today. Thank you. And I didn't murder anyone, even though I was this mad. Thank you for letting me practice. But that's because it's Earth. If you want to learn something, you have to do it lots.
lots and lots. But most people give up, right? Who's seen somebody do that? Like the math homework's really hard, so I can forget it. I'd rather take an F. <laughs> You're like, but this, this is Earth. It's supposed to be hard. <laughs> if it was easy, who would bother? I'm done now. Awesome. I know. And remember, if you want to put more corals or more or more grasses, do you have to finish right this minute? No. Wash your paintbrush. Put the lid on your paint. Come back when you feel more real. If you feel rushed, then relax. Come back. No. Who cares? I'm my yes. We don't. There's no. We can. We can enjoy the slowness and the calmness of decorating and of doing something and. It's almost like you watch it come to be, you know? It's like, ooh, ooh, look at that. Hmm, curious. Good job, you guys. <laughs>